truly, when you're called, you don't think about those things without counting the cost. You just come and, and you know this is where he wants you to be, so you come. group of Dominican sisters and um, they were founded in 1997 by four sisters who came from Nashville, Tennessee. There's a real history of Dominicans and of religious in this part of Michigan, in southern Michigan. Things have changed in the last 40 years and so I think um, one thing that our founders knew was that there was a need for a new witness and uh, for a new community, um, a new living of, of religious life. Immediately before entering the convent, I was studying occupational therapy at the University of South Alabama and um, just looking for what, what I thought I would want to do for the rest of my life. After, you know, in high school when I experienced a, a religious conversion, uh, I felt this desire to give my life to Christ. I just wanted to belong to Him completely. I didn't have a desire to look any further. And, and then I knew it was here that, that I was called to be. And as I drove up, it was just this overwhelming feeling that I was coming home. The whole time that I was here, I felt like that this was my house and like I could picture myself in a habit walking down the halls. And, and then I, I, I wanted it, you know, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, what was I thinking? <laughs> How could I, you know, think that this was not for me? Like, this is, this is what I was made for. The beginning of our day is always given to our prayers and usually uh, during that time in the morning we have uh, adoration of Jesus in the Eucharist, in the bread um, that becomes his body and blood. And uh, then we go to Mass uh, after our prayers. And after Mass we kind of hit the ground running. I had no idea how busy life in that convent was. We do everything. We do the cooking, we do yard work, we do, um, we have to support ourselves through teaching, you know, full-time work. But it's okay because, you know, it's, there's so much meaning and purpose in what I'm doing that, you know, I'm happy being busy for the Lord. And then we come back in the evening, no matter what we're doing, if we're in town, and, you know, close the day with prayers, spend time with community, with our sisters. We may play cards, go out for a game of soccer, Soccer is our favorite. Okay. Our main work is education. So we're teachers. We have two schools in Ann Arbor, Michigan and we have sisters teaching in schools in several different states. I just finished up student teaching last semester. I was in a public school in fourth grade and loved it. What we're committed to, to teaching young children about their faith and also to teaching other people, you know, might not be young and still don't know their faith. I think there was a real identity crisis in my religious life, a real confusion about, um, you know, when a lot of things came into question about what the role of religious in the church was. And now I think with the, the John Paul II generation, as we call ourselves, there is a real renewal. There's a whole new generation of young men and young women, um, you know, who are just hungry for just a, a giving a radical witness to Christ. In the eyes of the world, in the eyes of our culture, this, is, this doesn't make sense. It's completely against what this culture values and finds meaningful, we call it countercultural. There's no visible product to what we do. It's, it's in the invisible realm. Lots of people, I think, think we're crazy or uh, you know, don't understand religious life. It just seems very radical. It seems like you're giving up the greatest joys in life. And in my mind, it was about what, what I was gaining and, and I knew that where Christ was leading me was going to make me happy. 
the Sisters of Mary are growing and flourishing because the youth today, they want to give themselves radically and I think that they're tired of uh, the lukewarmness and selfishness that sometimes the world is caught up in. There is not a day that I regret entering this community.